Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them in today. We're continuing on with this uh, very, very serious story. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. Now, this morning I was listening to, um, uh, what is it, an episode from Stephen A. Smith's podcast called No Mercy. It was a long one, but the podcast was predominantly centered on the John Moran situation where Stephen A. Smith was given, giving his thoughts and also revealing some very, very important information. And as I was listening to this particular show, it got to the part where Stephen A. Smith began to talk about, well, ra- ra- excuse me, where Stephen A. Smith revealed an NBA memo, it would seem, or from an insider within the NBA that is di- directly connected to this to this situation and this particular memo revealed not only what the league thinks about this situation and how John Moran is potentially affecting the brand of the NBA, which is bigger than John Moran, but also he explains that there's a serious possibility that if this type of thing continues and it's not handled with the seriousness it warrants, John Morant could actually lose his new $230 million contract. If you don't believe, uh, if you don't believe that that's true, take a listen to Stephen A. Smith essentially lay it out here. And then we're going to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to that. John Morant got to get his act together. His career is on the line because I'm telling you something right now. You remember, this is your boy Stephen A. talking to you. I've been covering the NBA for almost 30 years. I'm telling you, I ain't asking you. Suspension's coming. And it's going to be steep. Could be 25 games. Could be half the season. I got people calling for the entire season. And before I go to break, let me read you from an inside source in the NBA that has direct access to Commissioner Adam Silver, who will decide John Morant's penalty, along with Joe Dumas, an executive VP, a former two-time champion with the Pistons, That dude, who's now a czar within the NBA league office, let me read to you what was sent to me by someone who has direct access to both of them. You can pick up the phone and call him right now. This is what he said. Stephen A. on John Morant. Behavior detrimental to the league. Best interest of the game. Those two clauses that are relevant here. Public perception is also important. It is not a right to play in the NBA. It is a privilege. Because the NBA was so lenient in the first incident, a strong message must be sent to John Morant, his family, and his boys. Minimum half-season suspension without pay. And if continued misbehavior exists, potential loss of his guaranteed extension. Also, as gambling becomes more profitable as a source of revenue to a league and its teams, players' character and the quote-unquote integrity of the game will be tested and become a more public issue. So the message of prevention of an outside force ever negatively affecting the outcome of a game I think I think some people don't realize how serious the situation is. I was listening to Keyshawn this morning. He said that a lot of prominent or a few prominent uh, gang members are upset with John Morant because apparently he throws up signs during games. And I listened to another interview from another gang member where he was like, <laughs> bro, is this what you want? And I believe a lot of these guys are getting offended that this guy is doing things like this when he's not really from that place. This is not what I'm saying. This is what they're saying. You couple that with the report Stephen A. Smith just just laid out. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear about the plans he uh, he had for the NBA? Uh, The NBA had? Did you hear that the NBA is in no... They have a zero tolerant policy in terms of jeopardizing their brand and their potential future earnings by any particular player deciding that he's going to do things this is going to be detrimental to that particular endeavor that the NBA has set out for themselves? Wait, do you think the NBA is going to do that? Do you think the NBA is really, really going to do that? 
The NBA, see, no one is playing games here. The only person that seems to be playing games is Ja and his supporters. And believe me, there's some people out there still condoning this. Another thing I want to say. Another thing I want to say. We got to throw out this thing of, okay, we're young. I was young. He was young. Uh, 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 we were all young. And therefore, we were all, first of all, stop. First of all, stop. Yes, we were all young at one point. Some of us, some of you guys watching the show, are, 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 are some of the people watching the show now are around the age John Moran is uh, as we currently speak. But don't put that on young people. Don't put this on young people, please. There are a lot of young people out there that are doing positive things with their heads on their shoulders that are not that are not out there behaving like this these this goes for people that are not uh, popular and famous and it goes for people that are john moran is not the only nba player in the nba he's not the only nba player in his 20s if we go across the spectrum of not just basketball if we look at other professional leagues how many guys are acting the way john moran is acting how many some people say, I can bring you 20. Okay, how many players are there? Thousands? So this is not how young people behave. This is how some young people behave. Some people are knuckleheads in their teens, 20s, late 20s, 30s, 40s. It's just their character. They are knuckleheads. There's some people like that. They cannot get off that. I knew some of these people. So let's not try to say, oh, well, so like, let's stop. Because I believe what that does is, it, is that it continues to excuse this behavior. And quite frankly, that excuse was already used the first time. Like enough is enough. Enough is enough. That's number two. Number three, what I've realized is this. People will make concessions for people they love like stars and people that they look up to. And they would not be, some of these people won't even make those same concessions for their own kids. This is to show you how sick people can be. People will make excuses for their favorite basketball player, favorite entertainer, favorite whoever. But if their children were doing the same thing, they would go off on them. They would deal with them good and proper. So why are you making an excuse here? What it seems like is that you're just a fan. And your fandom is clouding your judgment to give an, an honest assessment. On this particular matter, there's not a black or white, uh, black or white, uh, there's no gray area here, excuse me. We can't condone this. I was listening to various people. I was listening to, uh, who was I listening to yesterday? Uh, oh my God, uh, Kwame Brown. <laughs> Kwame Brown took John Moran to town. And as he was speaking, almost everyone in the comment section was saying facts right on. He's telling the truth. Go tell the truth, and then of course you have a few, the few fools in the room. Oh, you trying to pull a black man? Really? That's what he was trying to do. So, if that's what he's trying to do, so where's the correction? Where are the checks and balances in all of this? Job better take this seriously. The NBA said it is not a right to be in the NBA; it is a privilege. It is not a right; it is a privilege. If you believe that there aren't any other hungry, talented, potential NBA players in the United States and around the world that wouldn't love to be in this position, you are on something different. Don't ever feel that you're bigger than the program. Nobody is bigger than the pro. Nobody. And the NBA is not playing that game. They're not. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you on the next show. Peace.